I'm so confused with what the fuck is actually going on now. <laughs> okay, but why do you want me to hold your hand? That's the, at the same time I extended my hand. Ashley opens her eyes surprised after hearing my question, then stares at me with annoyance. Are you stupid, honestly, the guy you out of the forest? She said, just as she takes my hand in one quick move. I then find myself being dragged by this strange girl. But this is the opposite way from where the mis militant voice came from. Is that looking back for a second? You ignore that voice. It charms men to make them make them her victims. Think of it as a siren. Ashley explained in a bad mood with her eyes, Ash always looking to the front. See, she didn't get along well with whoever that person or entity was. May you be the one who collects souls of fools? I asked without thinking. I seriously need more experience when dealing with a girl. You idiot, I already said I'm the good one. For a moment, I thought she was going to hit me on the head. But unfortunately, she stopped before doing so or fighting me again. Okay, okay. Meekly responded as if I were scolding her. But if you eat me, I'll make sure to give you the worst indigestion in your life. You eat, I don't eat humans. I replied Ashley Anthony with an arrogant snort. 3.11 a.m. Um... Several minutes had passed since I started to walk hand in hand with Ashley. At the beginning, I did not trust her at all, but the more time passed, the easier it was to believe her. I had noticed before how uncomfortable her hand is, soft and comfortable her hand is, soft and pleasant to touch. Plus, just thinking about it, even if she is a witch, she's a good girl too. She's a girl too. Then I sigh. Come on, Axel, composure, composure. Woof. Every step, the curse of the forest seemed to weaken. The atmosphere was less oppressive every minute until finally I was able to forget about that unpleasant feeling. For I noticed the darkness had returned to normal, feeling only empty. The rotten smell also had disappeared without a trace. Now I could really say I was in a common and ordinary forest or even boring, but I could not be more grateful for that. Just a little more to get out, so let's keep moving. Then I was sat on the back of Ashley's watching her, her walk in silence. She was completely focused on that simple thing. If you're the witch from the legend, why are you helping me? I only asked that without th not thinking twice before it. I was really intrigued by that. By that. As she stops, turns, look at me with an angry face. Hey, do you really think all witches are evil? No. She was right. The journal images of witches is not good, but it's not as if stereotypes were truthful. Then she closes her eyes, making an annoyed face. It's true that I had supernatural powers, but I never used them to do harm. As she lowers her sight and pauses, suddenly she looks sad. My only sin was to be born in the time of the witch hunts. That's why I was condemned. That explains it well. I feel that I can trust she is good. But there is still one more question. And how did you end up becoming a cat? Ashley immediately blushes. She was so embarrassed that it was almost adorable, almost adorable, almost. Well, before my execution, there was a cat watching in the distance, so I decided to transfer my soul to it. She explained, avoiding looking into my eyes. Of course, we now share the body. We have, we have like a deal. The cat will be happy as long as it's something to, it has something to eat and in a place to sleep. I tried to provide her with all those ne those needs. In return, she lets me stay in, the, in her body. As she walks, she is blushfully sad. I think it's a fair deal. I reply with a sincere smile. <laughs> Truth is that I found it a little funny. It turns out that she is both a girl and a cat. To answer some questions. Ashley closes her eyes and nods a couple of times. When she wants, wants to, she can be very cute. Too bad that happens so rarely. Not saying more, Ashley continued walking to the exit. This time I stay in silence. All that remains for me is to escape from this place. 3.15 a.m. Well, here we are. Ashley said just a few minutes after we'd locked 
There's a line. I can see the end of the forest in the distance. I can contain my desire to scream with joy at the moment. There are other two human, humans close here, your friends. Go with them and return home. I hope that nobody else comes tonight. Actually, said gave me a so farewell, but strangely, she does not let go of my hand. She looks deep into my eyes. Amazed, I notice the gentleness that reflects on them. Can you make me a promise? She suddenly said with an honest voice. It was no joke. What is it? I asked full of curiosity. I don't know what I could do for a what I could do for a witch, but after helping me to escape, I think that she deserves me to, deserves me to hear her request. End this legend. She then murmured with an air of sadness. I can't understand why she asked for something like this. I want you to help me to keep people away. The only witch. The legend only attracts more people, as in your case. I need to kill it, replacing the supernatural danger with a human danger. A human danger. So you want want to scare them with ordinary dangers as thieves or ferocious animals. On second thought, there is logic in what you're asked. If you remove the element of magic and only leave the danger that exploring the forest is not worth the risk. Ashley nods and then looks into my eyes, blushing. Yes, exactly. She said, please. Okay, I'll do it. You can rely on me. I responded with de determination. I want her her know how serious I was. That is was not a promise I would not I would forget as soon as I got out of the forest. Thank you. Then she closes her eyes momentarily and places her chest with pride. You aren't as stupid as I thought. My throat is dry right now. <coughs> ah. I should have expected something like that. Hey, I told you not to talk ill of someone when they're in front of you. I complained angrily. This cat, I mean this girl, simply will never change. After seeing my reaction, I actually cannot help but laugh. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the first time I've seen her so happy. That made me blush. Ashley looked unexpectedly adorable at that moment. My heart was nervously beating as if I was with a normal girl. Suddenly she stares at me and gets so close her face is less than an inch from mine. Again, she demonstrates not knowing what personal space is. But this time I don't know whether to be angry or thankful. Having her so close a beautiful girl makes me very nervous. This is the farewell, she said suddenly. Then brings her lips to my cheek and gives me a tender kiss. Okay. <laughs> Um, I believe the game is longer than this. I believe there's supposed to be more choices here. Hello? <laughs> everything becomes white at that moment. Everything loses its color. Everything is gone. Everything, everything. 3.18. a.m. I'm outside of the forest. I have no idea how I made it here, but this is no illusion. I am bewildered as if I had been sleepwalking. Axel! Axel! Suddenly I hear someone calling my name, but it's not any strange voice. It's the voice of my friends who are looking for me. Hey, over here! I shout without a second hesitation with a bit of clumsiness because of my confusion. So they found me and patiently run towards me. Where were you? <laughs> the worrying was killing us. Steven said with a face that I don't remember having ever seen before. Before I started, I rubbed my forehead. Within the forest, I couldn't find the exit. Alfred was about to say something, but before I interrupted. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I was just lost. The important thing is that we're all safe. Yes, you're right. Hey, don't you feel that we are forgetting something? Alfred murmured at the same time he lowers his sight pensive. Suddenly, a blurry image appears in my mind. It was white and bright, but I can't remember more. However, that weak memory awakes a strange feeling of nostalgia in me. It was as if I had lost something, but what could it be? Anyway, we should go home. It's not gone too far for a test of courage. I said with no attention to spending one more minute in this forest. We both agree with me with nothing else to say. We can only return home. By the way, guys, we should write on that page to not go to the forest. Forget about the witches. Somebody might get lost there as it happened to me. It was a miracle that I came out alive with a beast lurking around. Before knowing it, it my lips moved. Why did I say that? 
I had no idea, but something inside me inspired me to do so. To be honest, I had no memory of the beast I speak of. All I can remember is that it has red eyes and white fur, but nothing more. That I remember something. I think it was a promise I made. Wait, to whom I had that made that promise? I think about it for a moment and so on, but in the end, I can't remember a thing. No matter all I know is that I got out and I'll never come back here again. Are you kidding me? <laughs> There's no way that's the end. What the fuck? <laughs> That's not the end. That is not the end. Hold up. Endings. Forgotten ending. How do you... What? Hello? Um... I'm confused. I know there's more. I know there's more. What the fuck? Do I replay it or can I load? Okay, luckily there was auto saves. Um I'm confused. I'm really confused. Um, okay, I'm going to. Tr I don't. I'm really confused. Um, let me just go with a start. I'm going to fast forward everything to all the. Tr I should just. Skip. Oh my. Okay. How about this? Let's just save. Every time there's a choice here. Pick her up. We're going with the same choices to see if anything else new pops up. Confront. Because I doubt there's... Yes, I doubt there's... There's gotta be more to that. I'm going to do the exact same choices and see if anything pops up. Then should I trust in her? Oh! Oh! Okay, we finally got something. For some reason, we accidentally triggered an ending that... <laughs> um... Doubt. Despite what she says and how cute she is, I cannot trust her words. This cat is the reason I am here, so I decided to ignore her and continue my journey. Also, I cannot know if this girl's voice is truly evil as she says. Could be the other way. About the same hour, I started to walk to the opposite direction, passing beside her without even looking at her. That was very rude of me, but I must not forget who I am dealing with. Wait, where are you going? Ashley said with a face of disbelief. I don't blame her. Don't go that way, it's dangerous. Stop, I said stop! Ashley begins to cry at me to stop. My decision was already made. I don't even look back. I soon, soon I can't hear her anymore. I know that she's still close, but it seems she has given up on me. For a moment, the doubt of why she did not use her magic enters my mind. I guess I won't understand no matter how much I thought about it. Okay, there is achievement. <laughs> Ready to meet the next girl? <laughs> what? <laughs> With each minute that passes, the air becomes more heavy and nauseating over my nose and mouth with one hand. If I could, I would stop breathing this rotten air. And that doesn't stop me from moving forward. After all, this must be one of the dirty tricks used by Ashley to scare away others. I 
After all this, she calls herself good. I can't believe it. Now all my hope lies with that with the voice. She must be the one who can save me. Here, you are going well. 3.11 a.m. Hello? I don't know if it's been hours or even minutes since I became separated from Ashley. I had lost the notion of time when suddenly I came to a clearing in the forest. At last I could see the night sky. The full moon shines elegantly, surrounded by a blanket of darkness and stars. A beautiful image, but there is something strange in it. How weird. Wasn't there a half moon tonight? I said to myself as I look at the moon and try to remember a vague memory in my mind. Anyway, it's not important. The moon will not come to save me. I lower my sight. It was then I noticed there was a cabin in the clearing. Cabin in the woods. Okay, incoming horror movie cliche. It was hidden under the shade of the trees nearby, so I didn't see it before, I think. The cabin looks old and worn down, even depressing. But if I'm lucky, there may be someone there. Not wasting one more second, I decided to enter the cabin. I opened the door slowly, observing that no one was waiting for me on the other side. Apparently it is empty. How weird. I murmured to myself, confused. Can't believe the voice came from this place, I'm sure of it. I rubbed my forehead with anxiety even inside. It's still very, very early to keep get impatient. I should explore the cabin. I slowly walk around the place, taking each step carefully. It is an old and neglected. There are cobwebs everywhere as if it hadn't been cleaned in years. The air inside is musty. Curiously, the cabin appears to have none of the modern commodities, telephone, electricity, water pipes. The impression I get is that it's even older than it appears. Something that, sound, something that sounds impossible. I continued exploring until I found in one of the rooms what I wanted. Lying peacefully in bed, there is a girl sleeping. With blonde hair, clothes as black as the feather of a raven. Okay. <laughs> Where did the music box come from? With just one look, I can say that she is very beautiful. Brave knight, you have finally arrived. Hello? She says, suddenly said, said asleep. There is no mistake she is the source of that voice. She is asleep, but knows of my presence in some strange way. Yes, I'm here. I said acting with fake courage, not knowing why. I guess I wanted to look strong for this girl, despite me being completely helpless. Yes, said... Then that she opens her eyes slowly, and with, even with laziness, they are very beautiful blue eyes. She looks at me closely for a couple of seconds, staring at my face with curiosity until unexpectedly a tear springs from her blue eyes, gently falling down her cheek. Thank you for coming, I was very scared. Suddenly she pounces me, giving me a tight hug full of affection, as if we had not seen each other for years. I was very afraid, everything is terrifying here. She said while trembling with her face pressed against my chest. She looks really scared, but who wouldn't? After all that evil cat has done, I won't forgive her for frightening a girl. <laughs> um, I don't know what to think anymore. I don't know what to think. So let's just say there's a wrong here. Although it's partly thanks to that I can find her. In the end, there's a good to see in the back. Don't worry, miss. I'll help you get out of here. I said to comfort with a false attitude of courage while placing my hands around her and returning the hug. She has an elegant, beautiful figure in her soft body pleasant to the touch. I can't. I don't have any more strength. Replied the girl, almost laminating herself for that. She doesn't break the hug, and I couldn't be any more thankful for that. I could carry you on my back so we could leave the forest. Golden hair is silky, exquisite to the touch. To be honest, I cannot resist stroking it. And the girl finally pulls away from me. She stays in the distance and just one step staring in my eyes with shyness. With her hands on her chest, her cheeks have a cute blush. I think you don't understand. I am a spirit that lives in this forest, she explains with a gentle voice. For I can materialize myself since people come to visit me, and the joy they felt gave me energy. I spent many pleasant times with them. 
Then the girl looks down. She seems to recall something sad. Until one day when the evil cat began to scare everyone. Suddenly I began to feel weak and well. Now I'm like this because of her. She blinks after saying that. She looks fragile as if she were going to cry at any moment. I look into her blue eyes feeling pity for her. Damn cat, how can you do that to such a cute... And how could I help you if you cannot materialize? I ask with curiosity. The girl suddenly deviates her gaze toward avoiding my eyes. She blushes and sadly plays with her finger for a moment before looking at me, me in the face. I think that if you kissed me, I would regain some of my strength. Okay. You don't just straight up bit. I'm dead. Ugh. There's a reason why I think this. One. I'm not a huge fan of blondes. Even though I have a few friends that are blondes. Hell, my my old childhood friend who suddenly kissed me out of nowhere and was basically my girlfriend in those times was a blonde. But I'm what, hell, even I used to be blonde. But then I stayed inside for so long, my hair turned brown. And as for the eyes, I don't really trust them. My eyes are blue, but that's because of the chemical mishap. My eyes used to be hazel. I can't believe it, my heart almost stopped when I hear it. Just a kiss would be enough. I struggle to not sound like a pervert. Where the fucking hell are we? <laughs> Entering the forest was the worst decision of my life, but going after the voice turned out to be the best. Just because your feelings will be transmitted to me. The girl said at the same time, she closes her eyes and nods. The look on her eyes slightly begs me to do it. After staring at her with an innocent that is simply adorable, after hearing her bulls, I start to think about my current situation. If she were an evil entity, perhaps she could ask me for a more Mericarp things. Just giving her blood to give her my to give her my soul and make a donation on PayPal. <laughs> clearly the worst but this poor soul just asked for a kiss she has been alone all this time if I kissed her we'll escape no doubt if seems the obvious choice to kiss such a cute girl to save her but everything sounds too sweet all of a sudden right I don't remember my luck being this good no <laughs> soon I remember what the cat said not wanting it down it appears in my mind. Should I kiss her? Um. Yeah. No. 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 Despite how adorable this girl is, there's something about her explanation that doesn't sound right at all. The thing seems too convenient to be true. It is impossible for luck to so suddenly have improved. All I turn think about is she's unexpectedly gets closer to me. Then looks at me with puppy eyes so adorable they could charm anyone. Are you going to do it? No. No. I can't tell if this is sad music or something else. I don't know what to do in this situation. Wait, before we do that, we haven't even probably introduced ourselves. I say clearly nervous. I can feel my heart beating anxiously as the girl stares at me. She blinks confused and then smiles sweetly. My name is Lillian. She doesn't look angry in the least. The girl definitely has some has something special. My name is Axel. I say in a robotic voice. <laughs> I've just seem to bother her. 
I show her a nervous smile. Not to say something else to stop her, but nothing comes to mind. Without any shyness, Lily, Lily Ann gets closer to me. She has no problem in taking the initiative. Her eyes only become naughty. Something in them makes my blood warm. It's a pleasure, Axel. I very much appreciate your help. She brings her lips close to mine, then places her arms around my neck to prevent my escape. That just her alone freezes me in place. Okay. That should say, don't do it. Also, look at what she's fucking wearing. Now watch her slowly approach me closer and closer. Until I feel her soft lips against mine. At that moment, I felt as if I had been possessed. My desires take control of my body, forcing me to kiss her lips. Her passion as if we were lovers, seeing each other after a long time. I put my eyes, don't know. I do not need to see, only need to feel the warm love and taste of her lips. However, the sweetness soon dies, being replaced with a stabbing pain. That someone had stabbed a sword made of ice into my back. I was thinking I'd break the kiss and pull my wave off. What did you do? What was going on? It was so cold as if someone had stabbed half the... Half the heat of my body. I also feel heavy as stone, but there was no answer. Or she could talk, suddenly something attacked us. With such power that it destroys part of the cabin, opening a large hole that connects to the outside. I can't even begin to imagine what that was. It seems like a wrecking ball doing its job. The blow was strong enough to push me away from Lillian. She seemed equally as surprised as me. I immediately get up and look for the culprit. The answer surprised me. You really are an idiot. What are you doing? Hey, I said no. She forced herself on the me here. Ashley said furious. Suddenly she takes my hand with superhuman strength. She was vastly superior to what her thin appearance would suggest. She dragged me away from the cabin as if kidnapping me. I couldn't do anything to stop her. 3.23 a.m. Just a few moments, we got we got every far away from the cabin. How quickly Ashley can imp run it impresses me. She is definitely not human. She finally lets me free. My hand was red and hurts from where her grip was. But fortunately, I feel better from the kiss. My body had recovered its heat and energy. What the heck did you do that? I said immediately of anger. How does this cat think she's doing to something like this? I should be asking that. I should be the one asking that. I should probably look at me in the in the eye with content. Because of you, she had already recovered most of her powers. She then explained the ending with a face of rejection, diverting her look from my eyes. She was overreacting, maybe. What are you talking about? She only wants to be free from you. Neither of the two girls in this forest seem trustworthy. That is misfortune considering how beautiful they are. You really are an idiot. Ashley said, looking at me with her eyes, her red eyes full of content. Yeah, she wants to be free to fulfill her revenge. Can't you understand that? The only one I don't understand here is you. Patience has any long ago and on the move for, scold for the scoldering. Stupid human to be so easily seduced by her. All men are equal, none can think with the right head. As we fold her arms and explains with annoyance while looking at me as if our, I were a spoiled child. Because of your reckless actions, we are in a serious trouble. And I have to get to the next part now. 